Praise the Lord. God is good and gracious. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for this far. We are still looking at Mark chapter 8, now verse 3 and 4. And um, I'll read once again from verse number 1 to verse 4. Then we'll uh, look at verse 3 and 4 today. The Bible says, During those days another large crowd gathered. Since they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way because some of them have come a long distance. His disciples answered, But where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? Praise the Lord. Yesterday we looked at verse number one and two. And for the sake of that good flow, we are connecting now verse 3 and 4 in regard to what we learned from the previous verses. And uh, the main thing that came out is that Jesus has great compassion concerning your needs and my needs. And so we should not worry. And the secret is to sit at his feet. When you sit at the feet of Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter how big the crowd is or how many we are, he is concerned about our needs. As he shows compassion to these people, he is even extending the same uh, feeling and uh, compassion, saying that if I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way. And this is where we kept saying that the Lord is so concerned about your life and he knows your strength. He knows what you can bear. He knows how much you can carry on your shoulders. And so he's saying, if I send them, you know, home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Why? Because some of them have come from a long distance. The Lord is um, resonating with the situation at hand and he's showing great compassion on these people. Or like what we said yesterday, his heart, his heart goes forth for these people and he's concerned that some had come from a long distance i want us to look at what the disciples said in verse number four his disciples answered but where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them this is the question they are raising if you go back to chapter six you'll find that this is where christ fed the five thousand and it seems like the disciples did not learn anything out of what happened in chapter number six. They have even forgotten. And no wonder they can dare ask Jesus, but where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? There are times when we go through situations and we feel as though we are in such a remote place and there is no answer. There is no solution. At the feet of Jesus, in the presence of Christ, full of compassion, it doesn't matter how remote the place you are in looks like. The disciples had forgotten. Let us not be like these disciples who had forgotten that in chapter number six, Christ had fed a larger crowd. He had, you know, ministered to many more people and no matter how remote the place you are in may look like, there is bread, there is enough, because at the feet of Jesus, all our needs are met. Praise the Lord. They are asking, but where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? They are limiting the power of Christ, yet they had seen what Christ had done earlier. Today, in your personal life, there are things that the Lord has done for you in the past. And today you may be facing a situation that looks like it is so hard. Wherever you are is so remote and you think that there is no enough bread to feed you. Or even the voices that you can hear, they are, they are voices that are saying, where can we get enough food to feed you? Where can we get a solution to your issue? Don't listen to those voices. Listen to the voice of Christ. Tap on the compassion of Christ. Even in that remote place, there is enough bread. Let us put our trust in God. Let us know that he cares. And he even knows 
the distance you have covered. He is concerned. Such a faithful God, such a loving father, such a concerned God, full of compassion. There is enough bread at the feet of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.